Hello, today is going to be quite a short tutorial. Um, it's going to be basically a demonstration of capturing prefabs. Um, I have touched on doing this within my engine tutorial and uh, I felt that it was probably quite useful to separate it into its own video so you could at least see how it works. Uh, so I've got a couple of different weapons on here that I'm going to turn into prefabs. Uh, this machine gun, which I've designed quite uh, recently, it's, uh, well, noisy, it, the easiest way to describe. You won't be able to hear that, because I've got sound turned off. But anyway, so you can see it fires quite rapidly, based on, well, visuals. So, uh, I'm going to capture this, and I'm going to capture that one too. The one thing to note when you're capturing is that spin blocks and axis blocks are not captured. You must place them separately. It's equivalent to building a new vehicle. So, I'm going into build mode. Uh, note that I have built, uh, gone into build mode on the turret, not on the ship. So I can't place anything on the ship. Uh, I can place things on here if given the right angle and so on. So, now I'm on this um, unit, uh, well this weapon, I need to get my capped prefabs, select an empty slot, uh, give it a name if, if I want to give it a name, <laughs> machine gun, accept, okay, and we're going to begin the capture process, okay, so we get a nice, nice blue block, I have deliberately chosen not to um, uh, make a size yet so that we can determine how much size we're going to need in a minute. So I'm going to place this at the back underneath the last rear block and I'm going to press F3 to put it into uh, static mode, uh, what's it called? Keyboard build mode. So I'm going to go back into inventory I'm going to go and now modify this um, prefab width and size and you can actually see behind that it's doing it now I know that this has got five blocks in width because there's a couple of ammo input feeders so I know this is going to, to capture the whole width now I need to capture the height so as you can see the block is not orientated correctly so at this point I'm going to go back into the capture process as we're in block uh, keyboard building mode we can rotate it still we haven't lost our position so I'm going to hold tab and press Q in this particular instance. So we've now got the height sorted. And as you can see, that pretty much covers the height of the uh, the weapon that I'm going to be doing. So back in here. Now let's extend the length. Now you can see that it's the wrong direction. So if I go back, out, back here, on the top you can see an arrow. Point to the direction it will be capturing. I'm going to flip the whole thing around, like so using tab and D. I'm now going to extend the length to cover the entire weapon. Back into begin capture process and I'm now going to try to determine whether that covers the whole thing including the barrels. In this case it does. So now I have this, all I have to do is click. Uh, left click and we now have a prefab. You can see it hasn't gained the axis point underneath. So all you do is place your axis point, stick a prefab on top, done. So I'll demonstrate that with the opposite side of this boat. Uh, there we go. So the first thing I'm going to need is uh, a new axis turret here for building this. As we're still editing that one over there we need to go back to hull editing mode, so using the left square bracket. Let's go get ourselves a single one axis turret again. All right. I'm going to make a note of its distance so we can make it equal. So one off there, like so. Now, if I go back to our place prefab, the one we made down the bottom here, we can see where the barrel is. It's pointing in that direction. So I'm going to turn it so it's going to face that way. Uh, we're currently in uh, spinner editing mode, so everything's all good. So. I'm going to press F3 to hold it in position so I can look around and make sure it looks sorry, I pressed F4 as well looks ok so it appears to be building it correctly on the block 
that I wanted to build on but I'm going to double check now I know that it didn't stick over the front of the ship so let's move it back one there we go so when I build this with left click everything from over there has been well turned and faced this way so if I come out of the prefab get myself a regular block there we go we have another weapon on the other side of this vehicle now done and you can repeat the place now for as many of these as you wanted so you could have a load of different weapons placed just by using prefabs I'm going to capture one more prefab just so I can demonstrate it so let's come out of F3 go over here now this is a rather large weapon I've made it does a fair amount of damo, uh, damo? damage and I have dem uh, demonstrated it because I was trying to say demo um, I have demonstrated it in my uh, advanced cannon tutorial now I'm not going to capture this because this isn't attached to the turret but it'll look like I'm going to be capturing it so first things first let's enter the turret spinner editor for this particular turret let's go and get capture prefab again and I'm going to name this one uh, the long nine Ugh, long nine I'm going to go begin capture process right so I'm going to go into F3 mode and I'm going to move this block to a point by using the keys on the keyboard until I can determine where I'm at so we've got an arrow pointing the direction we know we're going to be picking up from so that's good so we know it's going to cor correctly capture it so let's go back in here extend our height extend our width back into the capture process just to confirm everything so far so the width looks good the height looks good now we just need the length so let's go back in right because I'm not sure of the end I'm going to zoom out a bit further this is a rather long cannon okay so I believe that covers it all the way to the end uh, it is very difficult to tell from this angle but f it appears that it's covered it so I'm going to click now to capture this we now have the weapon captured so I'm going to move it to the side just so I can kind of have a look just to see you can see it didn't capture the last piece so let's go back over it back into E wipe the prefab increase the length again one begin the capture process click it we can confirm it by going across again and now we can see that the endpoint's been captured so it's just a useful way of being able to capture a, a large prefab when you can't zoom out any further which is really annoying anyway there we go two prefabs captured uh, one demonstrated replacement um, enjoy playing with your prefabs thank you